The condo lifestyle has its advantages for young and old alike, but how do you go about buying one? Basement floods can result in expensive damage and can hit your home unexpectedly. We'll show you a sump pump that works anytime. Valuables are stolen and most of the time not recovered. The sad part, it could have been prevented if a stolen item was secure simply by using a lock. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Buying a condominium can be a wonderful lifestyle choice. For many, it means the stability of home ownership without the hassle of maintaining the outside and mowing the lawn. So Designing Space has turned once again to the experts from Citibank to help us navigate the world of condo mortgages. We live in a three-story house. We've both retired. The kids uh, got grown, got married, tired of the northern winters and three-story house is just too much for us. So we looked for a condo, and then we had our priorities of what we're looking for. Well, for many people, buying a condominium is a lifestyle choice, as well as an economic one. Young adults often choose a condo as a stepping stone from an apartment to a single family home. The price tag may be smaller and they can enjoy the benefits of owning a home without the responsibility of outdoor maintenance. Many seniors buy a condo, as this couple did, when they're looking forward to retirement. Condos can be a lifestyle choice at any age, whether you're looking for a primary residence, second home, or investment property. I'd like to introduce you to Mike, our loan officer. This is the... Michael, our loan officer from Citibank, was very helpful. Step by step, he, he helped us through the application process. Very good company to work with. Whether you're buying a condo or a single family home, the first step is to talk to a home lending officer to get pre-approved. With the free Citibank Sure Start pre-approval, you'll know the amount you're conditionally approved to borrow. That'll make it easier to look for a home in your price range. When you buy a condo, it's important to understand that not only are you purchasing your own living space, but you're also buying a percentage of the common areas in the project. Common areas include, for example, entrances, hallways, garages, landscaping, and shared amenities such as a gym or a pool. When you're calculating how much you can afford a month, you have to include the monthly homeowners association fees that will be used to cover the maintenance of these common areas. After you find a condo that offers the living space, location, and amenities you're looking for, a Citibank Home Lending Officer can explain the benefits of various types of mortgages, as well as the offers that can help home buyers save on their mortgage. Citibank customers who have qualifying deposit accounts may be eligible for a reduced interest rate, savings on closing costs, or other benefits when they get a Citibank mortgage. When you complete your application for a mortgage, you'll need to provide documents that explain your income, asset, and debts. Your Citibank Lending Officer is a great resource to help you from application to close. We went from miles and miles looking for homes, and then I realized that we don't want a house. We didn't want to have to take care of a pool. We didn't want to have to buy a lawnmower and that kind of thing. We love the, the idea of condo living, that it, it's like living in a resort all year round. For first time home buyers, condos offer the opportunity to enter the housing market without the burden of outside maintenance. In many parts of the country, buyers choose a condo as a second home or investment property. For downsizing seniors like Julie and Dawn, a condo can provide a great retreat, instant neighbors, fantastic amenities, and a management staff to look after things while they're away. We can go on a vacation at the spur of the moment and lock our door and that's it, and come back and our newspapers will be at the front desk. When you choose to purchase a condo, your mortgage makes it possible for you to achieve the benefits of home ownership while enjoying the advantages of condo living. It's uh, an open floor plan, exactly what I think most people want, and the, the most phenomenal view. And it was large enough and small enough that we both have room. It was just a perfect wow moment. Went out on the balcony and I seen an ocean out there and I'm just thinking of myself on a boat, on the ocean, uh, fishing, relaxing. I says, okay, we found it. For more information, visit the Citibank website. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, visit designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter.
Floods are the most common natural disaster in the United States. If a basement floods, the damage can be extensive and expensive. In emergency situations, time is an important factor. I'm here with Jeremy Canner, Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Wayne Water Systems to talk about sub pumps and digital technology to help homeowners get better peace of mind when it comes to flooding in the basement. Now, Jeremy, I see you brought several things for us to look at here today, but before we get into that, can you tell us a little bit about why flooding in a basement is so serious? When we think of our home, we have tons of precious family heirlooms in our home. And I will tell you that water can get anywhere in our home. According to FEMA, $38,000 annually is the average claim on flooding in a home, not just the basement. And that's where the sub pump enters the picture. So a sump pump is actually designed to remove water safely and efficiently from your home's foundation. How does it work? So water rises into a pit. As water rises into a pit, a vertical float switch starts to rise in the pit. When you hear that click, that's what we call the switch. The switch actually turns on the motor in the sump pump. As water travels into the pit and comes into these half-inch diameter openings on the bottom of the sump pump, an impeller spins around. This impeller pushes the water out of the sump pump and out of this discharge pipe right here, which removes the water safely and away from your home. I remember when I was a kid, my dad had a Wayne water pump in our basement at home, and technology has come a long way. Well, thank your dad for installing a Wayne sump pump, but yes, technology has come an extremely long way since your father's sump pump. What you're looking at right here is advanced text, okay? Advanced text is a cellular-based technology that can text message up to three numbers to notify you if there's high water level occurring in your pit of your sump pump. So wait, this will text my cell phone? You got it, text wow. your cell phone, okay? You can be in Arizona visiting your grandmother and let's say you live in Michigan, right? If there's a flood that's potentially brewing in your pit or in your basement, this device will notify you. So I could call my neighbor and say, hey, will you go over to the house and check it out and see if there's actually a flood? You got it. As water rises, it hits a contact point. Oh, there it is. No way. My sump pump has actually oh, text that. messaged my phone. <laughs> wow, very cool. Yeah, you better believe this thing's cool. The other thing that this device can do is it's a two-way device. So you can physically text message the advanced text system as well. Like for a status update. You got it. Wow. So let's say, you know, you're away and, and you, you know, don't know if there's a high water level alert, but you know, you want to check in on your advice and on your house, you can text message it. What you're looking at right here is a primary pump and a secondary pump. This particular primary pump is always plugged into the wall using AC power. So what would happen is if power does go out in your home or in your basement, this pump's not going to work. But we do have an answer for you. What you're looking at here is a secondary pump. This secondary pump runs off of a float switch, similar to the float switch that you've seen on our primary pump in the past. This particular float switch rises up and down. And as this float switch rises up, it hits a contact point here, which actually tells this guy here, uh, okay. this battery, to generate power and run the pump off of a battery. Now, can I use my car battery for that? No, unfortunately you can't. Car batteries are designed for short bursts of power. So you turn on your car engine and the battery, you know, helps to start the engine of the car. With our particular deep cycle, long-term marine battery, this particular battery is designed for long-term use, right? So the battery will remain on and help the pump cycle off and on as it needs to, to drain water out of your basement or your home. Is it easy to assemble? It's very, very easy to assemble. Our product comes pre-assembled right out of the box from our factory in Harrison, Ohio. Why don't you help me here for one second? Oh, it's pretty light. All right. Oh. Bing, bang, boom. Fits right in the pit, pre-assembled, ready to go. For more information on Wayne Pumps, visit waynepumps.com or on social media at Facebook and Twitter. I want to thank you very much for coming in today and sharing information about digital technology and sump pumps to help keep our basements dry. Now, if you'd like to see this segment again, log on to designingspaces.tv. We also have a link there for Wayne Water Systems. For Designing Spaces, I'm Joe Stone. Meet Tyler. His school days come to an end and he can't get out of there fast enough. It's Friday, but when he realizes he's forgotten some of his most important possessions, it means going back to the locker to retrieve them, as long as he can remember that all-important combination. 
Uh, these days, with kids in schools, with their school lockers, they keep thousands of dollars worth of stuff in there. And a lot of times, they don't lock it up. Using a padlock, a combination lock, is as easy as ABC. Famous for his lip sync YouTube Shake It Off video, which has garnered over 34 million views, Officer Jeffrey Davis has all too often seen what can happen. Kids these days use social media for a lot of the wrong things. And kids need to realize that before they hit send on any of their social media outlets, they need to be very aware of what they're doing. You don't want to post things that you can never get back such as uh, that your parents or you guys are away on vacation. People can look at and know that you're not home. Well, in our profession, we see it all the time. We respond to these things where kids put their stuff in the locker, they don't lock it up. They go in, especially in the gym, they go to gym, people come in, they try all the lockers, they try the one without the lock, they get all the great stuff out of there. Well, you know what? It could have all been prevented by using a lock. Remember your old padlock from school? One turn to the left to whatever number, and then one turn back. Or was it three turns past zero and then one turn back? However, research studies show that words are easier to remember than numbers. Word lock is the originator and innovator of word combination locks. Tyler's locker is secured with a word lock five dial padlock, representative of a new trend in padlocks you can choose your own word combination. A combination that's easy to remember. That's all there is to it. Well, who hasn't had locker anxiety? I had locker anxiety when I was a kid. You go to your locker, you're trying to get to your next class, and you're trying to remember this uh, random number in your head. You can't remember it. If you had a lock that used words, it would be so much easier for you to use. You can use words, easy words, such as NFL, LOL, or COP, like myself. Tyler uses a U-lock on his bike at school. When out with his friends, he uses a loop and lock, so all the bikes are secured together. By having both styles, he knows he can secure his bike in different situations. Well, locking up your bike is so easy and so important. I'll tell you, in my profession, we see bikes stolen on a daily basis. Uh, and all you gotta do is remember, if you're stopping even for a quick second, bikes can be gone like that. Before heading home, Tyler stops off at his uncle's house. Everyone is away for a few days, so Tyler has agreed to take care of a few things while they're gone. Security is important here, too. When you're away from your home, you always want to keep your house safe and locked. Far too many times people put keys in places that they shouldn't for the contractor, for the housekeeper, for the kid coming home from school. They put them under mats, they put them under rocks in the garden that look nothing like other rocks. You always want to keep it in something very secure, like a key safe. A key safe using the same word lock innovations allows keys and small valuables, such as a set of car keys and credit cards, to be made available to those knowing the more easily remembered letter combinations. Hmm, a 20. Thanks, Uncle. Let's get down to business. On the gate is a weatherproof, resettable four-dial discus lock with a stainless steel body and rubber bumpers to protect surfaces from scratching. It's great for outdoor applications like public storage lockers, equipment storage sheds, and gates. Well, it's very important to keep your backyard secure. You've had all summer, people have been outside with things like your barbecue grills, your lawnmowers, your power tools, your porch furniture, and then summer's over. I've had individuals actually ride riding mowers right outside of gates. These things can all be avoided with a weatherproof padlock to put on your gate. After some bonding time with his uncle's dog, it's time to head home, where it's time to get to work on the really fun stuff. A new dirt bike is waiting in the garage, and Tyler just needs to do some maintenance before he takes it on the road. The tools belong to Dad, and Tyler is one of the few people who knows the easy-to-remember combination. You should also keep your valuables inside your home locked up. Things such as firearms, important documents, jewelry, expensive tools. And these things can all be locked up with a combination lock that's easy to use and easy to remember. The resettable text lock uses a resettable three-letter combination with a click dial that ensures accuracy. It's the world's only word lock with all 26 letters of the alphabet. Tools like these are expensive, and so are dirt bikes. Even though they're in the garage, they're best kept locked, so only Tyler and his dad can get to them. What good is a lock if you can't remember the combination? 
Words are so much easier to remember than numbers. Do yourself a favor and keep it simple. Choose a combination lock that uses words. It's as easy as ABC. The easy to remember user created combination lock makes it simple for a family to secure valuable belongings and keep off limits areas locked. To see the entire family of word lock padlocks, bike locks, travel locks and cable locks, visit wordlock.com. To see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv. instructor coming to give my daughter swim lessons, but the pool is green. I can't let anybody swim in this. What do I do? To help Malia with her algae problem, Designing Spaces got together with Rebecca, the new products manager for the Clorox pool and spa brand. When I saw the pool, it was clear that somewhere along the way, algae was able to take over. But I was able to show Malia a few simple steps to get rid of it and prevent it from coming back. So Malia, since we last saw each other, what have you been doing to maintain your pool? Well, now that I do it myself, I clean the filter, skim the surface, and add the chlorine. Okay, so have you been adding chlorine weekly like we talked about? Well, now that my daughter will be taking swimming lessons, I've reduced the amount because I don't want it to irritate her eyes. She definitely shouldn't have stopped adding chlorine. Green algae can be caused by little to no chlorine. And if the swimmer's eyes were irritated, that could be the sign of another problem. She might even need more chlorine. So the first thing we need to do is kill the algae, remove it from the pool, and then test and adjust to get into the Clorox Pool and Spa Comfort Zone balance ranges. There are three common types of pool algae. First is the type that Malia has. It's called green algae, and it's the most common. Second is mustard algae. It looks like yellowish brown slime on the sides of the pool. Third is black algae, the toughest to eliminate. It can coat the wall, and it will require some scrubbing with a brush to eliminate. Yuck! How'd that get into my pool? Well, algae can get into any pool by wind, rain, debris, and even bathing suits. But you don't usually notice it until they start growing. And you said you stopped adding chlorine, so that's probably why. So if I put the chlorine back in the pool, it'll all go away, right? Not exactly, and if you don't know what to do, you can always try our troubleshooter on the Clorox Pool app or online at cloroxpool.com. But I'll just tell you, we're going to need a chlorine shock and algicide to kill the algae, and then you're going to have to follow the easy 123 Pool Care brand system steps to make sure it doesn't come back. I remember this, it has blue algae killing crystals to get rid of the algae. Exactly. Simple enough. And then we're going to brush. Okay, so brushing your pool is really important when you have algae. You really need to make sure you can get it off the walls and off the bottom of your pool because it can cling to it. Okay, so now we're ready for algicide. So you just want to add it really slowly along the edges where the algae growth is heaviest. Wow, this is really easy to use. How long until my pool looks normal again? Well, between the chlorine shock and the algicide, the algae should be dead in 24 hours. And then all we have to do is vacuum to get it all out. So what do I do to prevent further algae? Just add chlorine? Well, adding chlorine is important, but I recommend you follow the entire easy one, two, three pool care brand system steps that will help prevent algae and other problems so you save time and money. So if your pool does show a tendency to grow algae, consider a preventative algicide weekly. It all makes so much sense. From now on, I'm gonna take much better care of my pool. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Sure, on behalf of the Clorox Pool and Spa products team and me, it was a pleasure to show a pool owner that they can solve frustrating pool problems and maintain a beautiful pool. I saw the worry dissolve as Malia realized her algae problem wasn't as bad as she thought. And with a few simple steps, she learned that Clorox Pool and Spa really does make pool care simple. Like I like to say, it isn't rocket science. After confronting the algae, I now feel like I can hold my pool to an excellent standard. I want to know everything and do it all myself. To learn more about Clorox Pool and Spa, Extra Blue products, and algicides, visit their website, cloroxpool.com, where you'll also find all kinds of information. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. 
For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.